What's up everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing y'all how you can catch bass in the late fall. Here in Illinois, the water temps are 49 to 50 degrees and the fishing can be really tough but it can also be really good. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can find them, how you can catch them and what baits to use. Make sure you stick around because you probably will learn something. I've really never caught one this big out of this pond. Hey y'all, I just wanted to talk a little bit on how you can catch these fish. Here in Illinois, it's middle of November and the water temp is like 49 degrees, so it's really cold. And here in a couple days, we're gonna have some really cold nights, so the boat's gonna have to come out and be winterized. But I just wanted to show y'all how you can come out here and catch these fish. I'm definitely not the best fisherman out there and I don't have the greatest equipment. I am fortunate enough to have a, a down scan on the front and a Ultrex, so I have spot lock. Other than that, that's it. I don't have forward facing sonar or side scan or any of that. So I'm just gonna talk to you a little bit about how you can catch fish without all that fancy stuff when the water gets real cold. A few days ago, when I forgot my SD card because I was gonna film, I came out here and I caught, I think five fish over 14 inches, which on this lake is the minimum limit in the tournaments. So that's just kind of my go-to. So I caught a bunch of those fish and I caught them right back to back to back. And I also caught a bunch of small ones that day. And what happened there was I found them schooled up. They were on a brush pile on a point that was right by a creek channel swing. And there was this fish were just loaded in this brush and I'm pretty sure they were schooled up feeding on bait. So I was able to throw a jerk bait across there and just pop it back and just catch them and catch them and catch them. And all those fish were full of shad, their bellies were big, and that's just one way you can catch them. Now for that, you do kind of need to use your sonar and find that stuff. You know, I've fished this lake all my life, so I kind of figure out where all that stuff is, but that's just one way you can do it. And you, then you can go in and clean them up with a drop shot if they stop eating the jerk bait and just kind of clean them up a little bit more. But if you're a bank angler or you're someone who doesn't even have sonar, which is all right, you can still catch these fish. I would just go down rocky shorelines that are windy and close to main lake stuff. I mean, I've been using a jerk bait. This is a Strike King jerk bait, but my favorite jerk bait ever is a Livingston Lures jerk bait. I'll go ahead and link that down in the description. Also, catch them on a lipless. Liplesses are great baits to throw. You can, I've been yo-yoing it. So I kind of reel it real slow and I just yo-yo it, let it fall, reel it real slow, that kind of thing. And that really gets those reaction strikes. The bass just love it. Another great bait is a little finesse jig. Now finesse jigs are really good baits. They can come through a lot of cover. And a little tip that not, lot, not a lot of people do, is you can put a little like end of a Senko, almost like a Ned Rig bait, on the back of your finesse jig. And it gives it a different kind of slender profile that is helps more finessey and it can get pressured fish to bite sometimes. And now finally, we're on to the old faithful, the drop shot. This, I prefer to throw a drop shot over a net rig in the fall, especially because these fish are just feeding on shad. That's their main forage right now. So what I like to do is I'll take a little zoom. This is a zoom fluke, I believe. I think it's a smoky shad color. And it's not that long. I think it's maybe three and a half inches. And I put it on just a small gamagatsu finesse hook. I bring it down to my little weight and I just slowly hop this across the bottom and I'll throw this everywhere. I'll throw it in the rocks, I'll throw it offshore, I'll throw it up on metal docks. Metal docks sometimes hold heat whenever it's sunny out, which obviously today it's not. But this today is the day of like it's a front day, so the front's moving in and it's gonna get really cold really soon. Like tonight it's supposed to be below 30, below in the 20s. And this is just a really subtle bait fish presentation that really just drives the fish crazy and if they're there they're pretty much gonna eat it you know i talked about this a little bit but places to find the fish you're gonna want to find the wind and if you're in a lake with current you kind of want to be around the current but not in it the wind really pushes that bait and it pushes those shad up on the shore especially whenever it's cloudy and overcast like it is today and you know that wind it just pushes the bait and it pushes the fish but if it's not windy, if it's kind of calm, which here in the Midwest, it's normally windy and cold in the fall. So that's something you want to look for. And I just prefer the rocks. I feel like they just hold fish, especially whenever you're using a lipless. It's just money. And if you're fishing a grassy lake, which there's no lit grass in this lake, you kind of want to be on that windy grass. But if you find that green grass, you'll be perfect. 
you find green grass in the fall, there's probably going to be fish in there. And if not, you want to fish around the weed lines and on the grassy points. That's another thing, fish the points. Like I said, the brush piles and the deeper stuff right by the creek channel. And another little tip is if you ice fish, you can fish where you ice fish or in that areas where the water's still open for these cold water fish and sometimes you can find fish there too. You know, I'm not really doing that real shallow this time of year. I don't like to go up in the backs of coves. I just don't find it that productive as main lake stuff, which that's where I'm at right now. I'm kind of on the main lake right by the creek channels, maybe 50 yards out. And this bank's pretty much just dropped straight into it. And there's rocks on this bank right here. And that point that you saw me catch two fish on, the creek channel swings around there and it just holds fish because that's where those fish are going to be spending most of their winter in that deeper water. So yeah, that's just kind of places where you can look. I wouldn't recommend going that slow either. I would try and move fast with your lipless and your jerk bait and just cover water. So a lot of times these fish are going to be schooled. That's another thing. Don't be scared to cast away from the bank. If you're fishing a bank and you're looking at your sonar and you're just seeing these marks around the bank, cast off the bank or try and find if it's a riprap bank where the riprap kind of meets the mud sand bottom, whatever bottom it is for you, and try and bring your bait through there. And that's always a good tactic. But also another thing you can try, which I don't normally throw it whenever the water's this cold, but I know in grassy lakes this does work well, is a spinner bait. A spinner bait and a chatter bait. Which right now, my water is a little stained than it normally is, which I don't know why, because normally in the fall it gets really clear. But that's probably how it is for most of y'all too. So you kind of want to go with the more natural baits. So I've got this just kind of a chartreuse and white bait tied on. And I don't know, I don't throw it that much when the water is under 55, but it is something you can try. You know, you really just kind of got to come out here and grind it out in the cold. But you really can catch some of the biggest bass you'll ever catch whenever these fish are feeding up for fall. They can be aggressive and they can also be so finicky they won't even eat a drop shot. So you just got to figure them out. It's really fun. I always like the late fall. It's a, just a nice different challenge. Also, I did mention it a little bit. The Livingston Lures jerk baits. Those baits are seriously great and I really recommend you check them out. There is a link in the description down below to those. All right, everyone. That's all I have for today. Hope you learned something in this video. I tried to explain how I've been catching fish lately and how you can catch fish. Fall fishing can be a blast, but it can also be really tough. So I hope you did enjoy. Um, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.